All right, so today we're doing a little Two Minute Tuesday inspired by Peter McKinnon's old Two Minute Tuesdays that he did like a while back. But anyway, I decided that I really wanted to learn more about different dog breeds and also practice some digital painting since I also love painting. So I decided why don't we paint these dogs together, learn a little bit about them, and start a little mini series so we can go on this journey together. Before we start, I do want to say that this is my first time painting with digital oils and just oils in general. So this was a fun little project, but I can definitely improve and I'm excited to see the journey as this goes on. Beginning with the letter A for Akitas, we're gonna go through the whole alphabet of these dogs throughout the year. And it's just gonna be quick little two minute Tuesdays and that way we can learn about these breeds together. And if you have suggestions for the next breed of the next letter, then definitely leave it down in the comments and I'll try my best to do the one that you guys really wanna see. Other than that, let's put two minutes on the clock and let's go. Alright, so the Japanese Akita was initially bred as a royal hunting dog. Akitas are muscular, double-coated dogs of Japanese lineage, and they are courageous, loyal, and dedicated dogs. They weigh anywhere from 70 to 130 pounds, depending male and female, and can live from 10 to 14 years. They're not usually good with other dogs. Akitas enjoy a balance of independence and a human affection. They don't love strangers and prefer to reserve sharing their silly, playful side with people that they already know and love. Akitas are vigilant guard dogs and will protect their home and family with their life. They come in nine standard colors recognized by the AKC with five standard markings. They tend to be quite clean and have little odor. They require moderate exercise and enjoy playing with their owners. However, they need to be trained from puppyhood to ensure a well-socialized dog and require continuous training and reinforcement throughout their lifetime. In the 1940s, Japanese Akitas were brought to the US, which sprung up a strain of the breed called the American Akita, which was bred primarily as a guard dog versus a hunting dog. You can distinguish the two by looking at their faces as the face of the Japanese Akita looks more like a fox, while the face of the American Akita looks more like a bear. The Akita is designated as a national treasure in his native country, and at one time, Akita ownership was restricted to the imperial family and the ruling aristocracy. Caring and feeding for the Akita were detailed and elaborate ceremonies, and special leashes were used to denote the Akita's rank and the standing of its owner. There is also a spiritual significance attached to the Akita, and when a child is born in Japan, the proud family will usually receive a small statue of an Akita, signifying health, happiness, and a long life. Akitas have webbed toes that help them walk on snow and distribute their weight more evenly. They love all things winter and love playing in the snow. The famous author and political activist Helen Keller is credited with bringing the first Akita to the United States in 1937. Akitas have beautiful plush tails that curl over their backs, and each dog's tail set is unique. Very few tails look alike to one another. When you see a group of Akitas together, it is very rare to see tails look exactly the same. They are very easy to potty train, as the dog enjoys being clean and even grooms himself like a cat would. They respond best to respectful commands and positive training techniques that rely on motivation rather than force. Akitas are highly intelligent and can become bored with training. Being classified as a working dog, they prefer to be given a job to do. They have a strong prey drive and owners should make sure that to have an excellent recall or to keep them on a leash when outside. They don't usually bark as they prefer not to warn their prey they are coming. Henry Cavill, aka Superman, is a proud owner of an Akita named Cal, which I think is a fitting dog for someone like Superman. I have been lucky to have seen an Akita in person at least twice in my life and they are so beautiful and striking when you see them. They have tiny little eyes which makes them even cuter and their black masks are just stunning. If you have an Akita, I would love to know what it's like to own one and if you think that these facts actually fit the breed. So this is what I came up with for the finished painting. I decided to add Japan and the United States in the corner of this just to represent some characteristics of the Akita. And yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with the result. Maybe we should make these into little stickers and put them up on the shop once we're done with all these dogs. Let me know down below. 
Thank you guys so much for sticking around and if you enjoyed this video then definitely leave a like and subscribe if you want to. There's going to be more videos coming up. Thank you guys so much for making this channel to a thousand subscribers. Finally, we have made it here. It's been a long journey, but I just wanted to say a very, very quick thank you. And if you have suggestions for the next letter, leave it down below in the comments. And if you have an Akita, definitely leave your thoughts and your experiences down below so that other people looking to get this dog have more in-depth information on how it is to own an Akita. All right, I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you guys on the next Two Minute Tuesday.